Welcome to the Smart Women in Business blog number five. Feel the fear and do it anyway. As we get towards the end of the year and we're building towards the excitement of the Christmas holidays, I just want you to take the time out to think about your goals for the remainder of 2016 and 2017 and beyond. Um, what are your big goals and what are you doing to achieve those goals? Think about your wildest dreams and what you really want to achieve with your life. What are you t doing today to take yourself towards those really big goals? And are you reaching towards them with an emphatic, I can and I will? Or are you putting them to one side and simply saying to yourself that I can't? To quote Marie Forleo, when you say I can't, you are in fact saying I won't. When you say I don't have the time, you're really saying I won't make the time. If you won't make, your time, make the time, ask yourself why. What's really holding you back? I have a lot of conversations with clients about big picture stuff, goals, missions, visions, and I also have um, conversations about the micro stuff, the personal stuff and the not very fun stuff. Um, you've got to get past thinking about where you are in the very present and, and tr try to see beyond any issues or struggles you might be going through right now and for a lot of people, we're often going through um, challenges in our lives. And um, really think about, is it going to be a massive issue still for you in 12 months or two years or five years' time? Um, and if you think it is, what steps can you put in place to change that situation for yourself? Or if it is going to be a permanent situation, um, what can you do for yourself to give yourself a better mindset around that. I understand that some people just live with some incredibly difficult situations with their life constantly, but that doesn't mean that you can't set yourself some really incredible goals. Um, even for some people I know, it's just to get through a day in pain or deal with a partner's illness or deal with some real money struggles. And, and that's a very real thing for a lot of people. And I acknowledge that, and, but when we're making the best of a bad situation, um, we still have the opportunity to dream and we still have the opportunity to make the very best of our own life. So I'm constantly pushing clients to be the best version that they, that they can be of themselves and to go beyond the barriers that they've created for themselves consciously and subconsciously and smash those mindset obstacles and build the life that they want. So what are your obstacles? And I'm not talking about those big struggles that people go through that I mentioned earlier. I'm talking about your mindset obstacles. What's your mindset dictating for you right now? And most obstacles I have found in our mindsets are based in a place of fear. Fear of failure, fear of responsibility, fear of the unknown, or even a fear of success. So... What are your barriers? I'm just going to give you a moment to think about those. I could sing or you can pause the video. Note them down either physically or mentally. I recommend physically because then you're physically putting it to the universe and acknowledging them. So take a moment now. What's holding you back from your biggest potential? So now you've noted those current barriers. Take a deep breath. For this is the first step you can take to smash those barriers, get rid of them, obliterate them and put them to rest once and for all. So how are you going to do that? Let's take a look at the top three barriers I encounter in working with entrepreneurs. Number one that I mentioned was fear of failure. I can guarantee you right here, right now, that every single human being on this earth has a fear of failure. 
even Richard Branson, even Oprah, every single person lives with that. The people we all admire and look up to are the ones who have overcome this barrier um, and come out the other side time and time again. Sometimes with fortunes lost, pride hurt, and always with lessons learned. And you know what I say? Feel the fear and do it anyway. For a life half lived is a life. A life lived in fear is a life half lived. And I can't even remember where I heard that quote from, but I love it. Number two that I mentioned is fear of the unknown. So we live a life of constant unknowns and we never ever know what is going to happen tomorrow. We can predict what tomorrow will bring, but there are absolutely no guarantees. And I tell you what's even scarier, living a boring life. Building someone else's dream and working all day at that. You're not here watching this because you thought, oh yeah, I'll watch a blog about entrepreneurship and mindset and building your dreams because you're happy in your corporate job or your retail job or your admin job. This is your life with your goals and your happiness is at stake, at stake here. So if you're taking calculated risks and creating a plan around your next steps, then you can predict the outcome just like when we go to sleep, we can predict that we're going to wake up every morning. But when you wake up, will you be happy and excited about the day ahead? So you make that choice. And number three, I've saved the best for last, is fear of success. What? It's crazy talk. No, fear of success is very real and way more common than you think. Self-sabotage is a very common thing because people fear their own success. They fear what it will do to them, whether it's facing up to the naysayers who told them that they couldn't do it, or people asking to borrow money, or whether it will change them as a person, or whether they'll start to expect too much of themselves and how they're going to sustain it. Success can bring out the best and the very worst in people, and I think a fear of success is pretty awesome because it really means that you believe in yourself and all that you can achieve. So I say take it, run with it. Let that ball of adrenaline and the thrill of achieving your dreams, your mini goals, your little goals that you're setting for yourself, drive you forward and go get them. So that's my little thoughts on fear. Uh, it's interesting that as I've been writing this this week, I've had to face a very major fear in my life and if any of you know me personally um, you'll know I have a major phobia of snakes and that's exactly what I found in my backyard the other day so be careful what you write about because manifestations do come true my friends so I'm going to stop writing about fear now because I don't want to see any more snakes so if you want some help with your barriers come over to the Facebook group the Smart Women in Business Facebook group share your fears here uh, and there if you're not coming to this from the Facebook group or go and have a look on the website uh, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast the YouTube channel the newsletter all the things that we have coming towards you um, from mindset and in action and have a wonderful day thanks <laughs>